Hello Capricorn and Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. This is going to be your June 2019 love reading. I am accepting personal readings right now. You can find the details uh, in the description box below. Please be sure to visit my website www.thetaroflight.com. Uh, please keep in mind if this reading does not resonate with you, uh, it you know, it's a general reading, it may not resonate with everybody. Please be sure to check your moon, rising, and Venus signs. And please be sure to like and subscribe this video. If you enjoy the reading, you can subscribe by just tapping on the red subscribe button on the bottom left hand side underneath the video. Okay, let's get started here. What do we have for June 2019 for Capricorn? June 2019 for Capricorn. 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 Okay, Capricorn. So the underlining energy of the reading is going to be the King of Swords, okay? Now, the King of Swords is um, a king who, he's not an emotional king. He is, I just picture like a, a knight, okay? I mean, he handles everything strategically and with his mind, okay? Um, everything is, is done in order and precisely. Um, this is a very seductive person because he's very... Um, I don't want to say in control, but very in control of his emotions, very in control of the way he does things, okay? So that's the overall energy of um, how I feel, you know, your energy is right now, Capricorn, okay? So I see here, um, let's start off with the Five of Cups, okay? So Cups can be water energy. We're looking at uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Now, you see him looking down at the cups. He's looking down at the cups that have fallen. He is not looking at the cups that are still standing there. So you may be having a little bit of regrets here, Capricorn. Um, they are, you know, this, this card represents like loss, confusion, regret, um, not understanding what happened or why it happened. Now, to clarify this card, with the card we have the Six of Cups, which again is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Scorpio energy, okay? So... This can represent an ex uh, or family member. So um, being that this is a love reading, I feel like you may be thinking about an ex here, Capricorn. You may have some regret over um, what happened between you and an ex. Now here we have the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like in the current situation that you're in, Capricorn, you're feeling very trapped. You feel like, how did I get here? I don't belong in this situation. And you're hoping for a new beginning, okay? Uh, you want a new beginning with something. Now, we have the, uh, the Knight of Pentacles here, okay? So the Knight of Pentacles... Um, he comes in, this is again a very stable person, very similar to the Knight of Wands, the, the uh, King of Swords, excuse me, in some ways, okay? So this is someone who's very stable, very responsible with money, all right? Um, and, uh, you know, the, so they're coming towards it. They're either coming towards you or you're going towards somebody. I feel, Capricorn, that this is you going towards somebody because here we have the Empress, so Capricorn, I feel like you're going towards 
um, this person that you're thinking about. You're, you're going to make a move towards this ex. Or again, this ex can be making a move towards you, Capricorn. This could be, you know, this, this Knight of Pentacles could be, you know, this ex coming towards you. It can be vice versa. All right. So now we have the Four of Cups. Okay. So excuse me. So we do have Swords energy here, which can be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We do have Wands here, which is fire energy, which can be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries energy. We do have Pentacles here, which is an earth sign. So that can be Capricorn, um, Taurus, Virgo energy. We do have a little bit of everything here. So back to Cups here. Here we have the four of cups. So I believe we may be dealing with a water sign because water sign is emotions, relationships, and it seems like the two cards that we have here and this card with cups is a lot of regret and loss. So I feel like either you or an ex is thinking of you with a lot of regret or loss because if we look at this card you have stuff in front of you Capricorn you have the universe handing you blessings but you just have your hands crossed over your chest and you're just miserable you know you're just you're just miserable we have two cards that really kind of look the same here you're just either you're thinking about an ex or an ex is thinking about you and here we have the wheel of fortune which obviously is blessings and good luck but it can also signify you want the wheel to turn you want you want this person you either want to reach out to this person or you want them to reach out to you you want the wheel to start you want movement here you want the wheel to start spinning you want to try to make your way back towards this person or you want them to make their way back towards you now again here to clarify, the Five of Cups, we have the Knight of Cups, all right? So again, I feel like you're thinking about moving towards this person slowly. As you can see, that horse is moving slowly with that big cup of love. So someone's either going to come toward you, Capricorn, with a cup of love, or you're thinking about reaching out to somebody with a cup of love. Now here, we have the Eight of Swords, Okay, so to clarify the Eight of Swords, we have the Nine of Wands. So again, Wands is fire energy. Here we have air energy. Fire energy is uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. We have the um, air sign, which can be uh, Gemini, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. So again, here you look trapped. You look like you just don't want to be where you are. And you're putting up a wall, Capricorn. You're putting up a wall and you're defending it. You're, you're, you're putting up a wall and you just don't want to be bothered. You notice how you have two walls here. One is swords, one is wands. You're putting up a wall around your environment. Now, we have the Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups is a very loving person. And again, I feel like the person that we're looking at, you feel like these, these are two beautiful cards. These are two women that are just loving, kind, resourceful, intuitive, um, very caring, just beautiful spirit here. Okay, so of course that could be man or woman, Capricorn. So I feel like this person that you want to give this love to or that you want them to give love to you is a very kind, caring, you know, person, very, very loving person. And, and you can't stop thinking about them, Capricorn. You really can't stop thinking about this person or vice versa. They can't stop thinking about you. Someone is very miserable here, okay, about the past. So to, <laughs> what did I just say? So to clarify the Four of Cups, we have the Two of Cups. A lot of water energy here, Capricorn. A lot, I mean, we have a lot of, of water energy here. So to clarify the Four of Cups, what you're all miserable about is you want reconciliation, Capricorn. You want reconciliation. You want that. And that cup, the two of cups is a beautiful card. I mean, that's marriage, engagement, commitment, moving in together. That This is a beautiful, beautiful card to have, Capricorn. So I really do feel like this person or you are going to, you know, someone is going to make a move. Someone is going to make a move because you can't get that person out of your head. Either they can't get you out of their head or you cannot get them out of your head. So now... When it comes to the Six of Cups, we have the Three of Pentacles, okay? The Three of Pentacles um, is going to clarify the Six of Cups. It can mean reward, 
okay? It can mean reward after doing something. So this reconciliation may go well if you go towards your ex or if your ex goes towards you. It could also mean jealousy. You know, we have the three here. So they may there may be a third party here that is very jealous about you guys getting back together, okay? Maybe your ex um, is seeing somebody or you're with somebody and uh, they may start to get really jealous over the fact that you guys are talking again. Now, to clarify, the Ace of Wands, we have um, the star, which is beautiful, okay? So that means that the new beginning is giving you hope. You, you have hope with this new beginning. I mean, it's just a beautiful card to have. There, there's a lot of hope and love here in this new beginning that's coming. Now, here we have the Empress being clarified by the... Um, Queen of Wands. Okay, now the Queen of Wands is a no-nonsense person. This could be somebody that's a lot younger than you, that does um, have wisdom though, or it could be an older person, an older man or an older woman, all right? Um, I don't feel like these are, are the same people. I feel like these two people here are the same person, but I do not feel that this, I feel like this is a third-party situation. I feel like even though you, Capricorn, are missing your ex or your ex is missing you. One of you are with someone else. One of you are with someone else, all right? And that's why we have the trapped and the restriction here. Like, there's something happening where, you know, trapped, restriction, jealousy. There's a third party involved, and um, it's causing a little bit of problems, okay? And I feel like this is your third person. This is a no-nonsense person. Again, it could be someone younger with some wisdom, someone older, um... As you could see, they're sitting upright on the alert, looking around, okay? No nonsense person. And it is a fire sign, Leo, uh, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Now, to clarify the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Ten of Cups, Capricorn. The Ten of Cups, which is a beautiful fulfillment card. As you could see here, you've got the family there with their arms raised to the sky, just receiving their blessings. Um, you know, you got the house by the water, children running around. This is just blessings and fortune in every area, financially, um, love, relationships, marriage. So I really do see, Capricorn, a reconciliation happening. I see that, you know, you're going to get out of this, this trapped feeling, okay? Okay? No matter what jealousy or whatever's happening, someone's coming towards you with that cup of love um, or you're going towards somebody and, and you just can't take this misery anymore. You can't take the regret or being without this person anymore. Okay, And this is a really beautiful person. This is a really beautiful person that you can't stop thinking about. You really want this. You want this, this new beginning and it's definitely an ex. We do have an ex here. All right. So let's get some clarification here with Romance Angels. Capricorn, June 2019, Capricorn, June 2019, Capricorn, June 2019, June Okay, so Capricorn, here we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so I feel like this tells me you're very upset right now. You feel very trapped and you cannot stop thinking about this ex or this ex cannot stop thinking about you, okay? So you can't live in all that regret and anxiety. Either make your move towards them or allow them to make the move towards you, but you have to love yourself enough to not let this take over your life. You have to love yourself enough to not let um, you know, this come in between your, your mental 
peace, okay? So you have to love yourself first and not let anybody in. Now we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy, okay? So again, I feel like this really resonates because either let it go, Capricorn, or move towards them. Either let it go or let them or accept their offer if they come towards you. You cannot stop beating yourself up about this, okay? attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment uh fully okay so i feel like you're very attracted to this ex capricorn you cannot stop thinking about them or they are very attracted to you and they cannot stop thinking about you again we have you know four of cups five of cups they just cannot stop thinking about you okay and, or you cannot stop thinking about them and it's causing you to feel really, really trapped. It's causing you to put a guard up against um, this third party situation that you have going on here, okay? One of you two or maybe both of you are in a relationship and because your mind is wandering to this other person or their mind is wandering towards you, it's really causing a lot of friction in the current relationship that they're in. It's causing a lot of jealousy, okay? So either move towards this ex Either move towards them, reconcile, move towards this beautiful person in your life, okay? Or stay with the person that you're with and let the ex go, okay? I feel like you really do want the new beginning, though. I feel like there's a lot of hope there. I feel like there's a lot of blessings and reconciliation, okay? So bring it, Capricorn. Move towards them. Bring it, bring, go, go towards that person. Go towards them. Or if they come towards you, accept it. Okay, here we go. So under the the, uh, the King of Swords here, we have manifestation. Okay, manifestation is you thinking about this so much that you're manifesting this ex back into your life or either they are manifesting you back into their life. And under that, we have the Seven of Pentacles, which again, literally is the third card that, that coincides with these two cards here. You know, with, with look... Look at how they're looking over yonder. They're, they're, they're just, they can't stop thinking about this person. I mean, they, they just can't stop thinking about this.